Um, here is an introduction to the Astrolabe. We talked earlier about star map, and uh, I'm now going to talk about our planetspheres and uh, astrolabes. So, during the year, the sun moves around uh, through all the stars of the zodiac, moves in front of them, and when that happens, we can't see the stars around it. I don't know how clear the video is, but here's Sagittarius Capricorn. Uh, Aquarius around there. So when the Sun is in front of the constellation Sagittarius, which is uh, you know sort of around winter time, um, we're not going to, we're never going to be able to see the stars that are that are around that kind of area. So, say for winter time, you can block off this top section, and these are the stars that are going to be visible. And they are, if you're familiar with the star, they are stars like Orion. Um, that you only get to see in winter and uh, we associate with the uh, winter constellations. Uh, conversely in the summer um, the sun is in front of these sort of constellations Gemini, Cancer, Taurus and uh, because of that the sun's in front of these ones there's no way we're going to get to see these stars um, so you have to block off these ones and these are the kind of constellations we're going to see around that sort of time. Classically we get to see Cygnus, Lyra, Aguila, um, what we know as the Summer Triangle. So um, wouldn't it be handy if we had some device that did that blocking off for us? Well, um, luckily for hundreds if not thousands of years people have been coming up with uh, these kind of things and a very very simple, the most simple, the similar as having my hand over the star map is what we call a planisphere. Um, it is just that, it's uh, as, as it spins round it blocks off the stars you can't see and there's months printed around the edge here, there's um, April, May, June and you match that up with the time that's printed on these so I don't know if you can see that says 23, it means 11 o'clock so 11 o'clock in the middle of May, that is the stars you're going to see. And it's very rough and ready, gives you a general gist of, uh, of what's up there. For something more specific, if you really want a star pointed out for you, you need something like a modern astrolabe, which does exactly the same, um, same thing. Here we are, February, March. We're in, we're just towards the end of March actually, the date's... Uh, and you can hook that up to the time which is running along here. So if we were outside tonight at about 10 o'clock, you'd match those up. And as this is spinning around, it's blocking off the stars, not visible. It's blocked all these off. You've got this, which is the point above your head. And uh, because the astrolabe, what makes it different from the planisphere, is it's been made from a specific point. This one has been specifically made from where the stars look from Stonehenge. Um, it'll be accurate for a few hundred miles either side of there, but that is the exact stars. Um, and it will tell you that uh, from Stonehenge at 10 o'clock tonight, as we've uh, dialed it up, um, it is able to tell you the altitude of the stars. So it will very specifically um, tell you how many degrees the stars are off the horizon and in what direction. Now, there's another video where I go uh, more specifically into uh, how these work. Just to give you a general gist, a planisphere itself is done just from a, uh, from a latitude. So this will be all the stars from about 50 degrees but, and will work um, on that but won't tell you the altitude or anything more specific. So, yeah, there's a little general idea of how, um, how these things work. And uh, there's another video that tells you the specific uh, things you can do with the Astrolabe, like it will name uh, stars for you, you can find when's a good time in the sky to find, particularly if you want to find your zodiac constellation, you can even use it to tell the time. Um, I mean, hundreds of uses, very useful. Okay, thank you very much.